Do you feel like life is passing you by? That no matter how hard you try and how much you struggle, you never have enough time to do all the things that you want? Well, struggle no more. Because in this video, I'm going to share with you how to organize your day for success. Because I get this question a lot in my private practice and in my mastermind group and in my, all the other communities that I have. Because people always want to know, how come I can get so many things done in such a short amount of time? Hello, hello, my name is Rosvita and I'm a coach at rosvitaherman.com and each week I help women just like you be the most successful person they know and be fulfilled and happy and healthy and of course wealthy. We all have 24 hours each day. So how come some people manage to accomplish more than others? What is the secret to a productive day? What is the schedule to a productive day? Kevin Trudeau was one of my first mentors in the self-development world and he said that 99.99% of all our dreams being accomplished is based on thought and only like half the 1% is based on doing. And at first I didn't get it. Like it made no sense. How come I'm just thinking and then I do just 1% and I'll accomplish all my dreams. Like, no, that's something wrong with that. But years past, I've learned from many other more, you know, leaders and self-development people around the world. And I finally got it. Because what he meant was that you need to be focused. So instead of doing, 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 which most people are, like, don't you see around you? Everybody's doing something. Everybody's busy being busy. But nobody actually does things that matter or not in the bigger percentage. Why? Because they lack focus. So instead of just waking up and heading into the doing, 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 you have to wake up and focus. What exactly do I need to be doing in order to accomplish my dream, my goals? It can be health goals, financial goals, relationship goals, career goals. There are all sorts of types of goals. But instead of just doing, you need to first focus on what exactly will bring you the most results. And this is why planning and focusing and dream building and journaling and all of the other exercises out there help you more to achieve your success faster than just, you know, work, 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 work. Working nonstop is not the answer. That's not how you get successful. That's how you get overwhelmed and burned out. But working smart, well, that is the answer. And today I'm going to share with you a few steps on how to organize your day for success. How can you structure your day for success? Well, first, time is just like money, is energy. And we have a perception about it. So please, if you have not checked my money videos, I have four of them. They're really good for financial education and for attracting abundance please check the link somewhere about here. So now, if money is like time or time is like money, we need to apply the same rules. Meaning, I want you to think about your last week or your last two weeks and write down what you did with your time in detail. I want you to know exactly how much time do you spend you know, in your car? How much time do you spend eating? How much time do you spend commuting to get your food? How much time do you spend putting on makeup? How much time do you spend, I don't know, eating, working, sleeping, watching TV, whatever. I want you to be very clear about where your time is spent. Most people never do this. That's why they never have time because they don't know how they waste it. Again, it's the same with money. So that's the first step you need to be doing, this exercise. The second step is, I want you to think about what you want. So again, we get clear now, what exactly do we want? How do you want to spend your time? And you can create here two ideal days. So you can have an ideal day from Monday till Friday, like the working days, and an ideal day in the weekends. So I want you to be very specific. How will you spend your time Monday through Friday? Each day, how in an ideal world, 
how exactly, how much time would you sleep? How much time would you eat? How much time would you go to work for? How much time would you spend commuting? Like all, all the details. How much time would you spend watching TV or playing or kissing your boyfriend or your husband? How, how much time would you actually be spending? Weekends included too. So you can have that another ideal day. It's so important to know what you're going for. Because most people have no freaking idea what they want. They just know they want more time. Just like those people who just say, I want more money. How much more money? If I give you a dollar, that will be more money. But is that enough? And you'll say, no, I want more money. What is more? Be more specific. The universe loves people who are specific. So that was tip number two. Tip number three and the third step is to compare the two sheets of paper. So you have how you spend your time now and how you want to be spending your time in the future, in your ideal day. Now look at them and compare them. What things can you change? There will be things you won't be able to change. For example, if you have to work eight hours a day, you won't be able to change that unless you, you know, quit your job or get a part-time job or, you know, so that might not be possible right now. In the future, definitely it will. So you have to make plans for that to happen. Uh, if you now spend too much time commuting, well, the only way that would change if, if you either change your job and it's closer to home or you change your house or your rent or whatever and you make it closer to your job. Again, it's a choice and you're gonna have to figure out which one will be better for you and what can you do so you can have like a goal, like in a year, I either want to change my job to be closer to home or I want to move to someplace else. But I'm, I know what I want, I know what I want to get, and then I will slowly make steps towards that because I have a plan. So by comparing these two sheets of paper, you already have a plan. Deal? I'm promising you this is, works. The fourth step and the last one, and I cannot stress this enough, the importance of this is to have a self development routine in the morning. In the morning would be best because you need to focus and you need to find time to connect to yourself and see what exactly do you want every single day. Because if you don't do this, anything else, you know, you're only going to advance a little bit every day or a little bit every month. But if you have a self-development routine, you're going to invent, you know, you're going to uh, advance exponentially. So what does that mean? So I want you to make time in the morning. You can start with 10 minutes, you can start with half an hour, depending on how much time you have to journal. It's so important. Just journal, you know, write whatever comes to mind, just to, you know, clean your head and make some space and, you know, just clutter free mind for the day of ahead. Then I want you to be grateful. So you can write th three things you're grateful for. Then I want you to, and this you can do, this exercise you can also do the, the night before, to imagine and write down how exactly do you want the next day to be like and i you don't need to be specific like i want that guy to say yes and i want you can say i want to feel relaxed i want to feel accomplished i want to feel energetic i want to wake up and be rested i want to eat something really delicious i want to feel like i have enough time i want to feel this I want... so i want you to to make that mental visualization of your day because it's such an important part. Again, most people never do this. That's why they get wrapped up in the rat race, you know, like just doing, 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 and never be able to stop. They don't even know exactly where they're heading towards. So if you know where you're heading, if you know how you spend your time, if you get in alignment with yourself on a daily basis, then I promise you that your day will seem longer, that your time will feel like it's more, like now, I sometimes I have like, oh my God, I can do so many things. I feel like I have so much time and nothing has changed. Just my perception, my relaxation, how I see things have changed. And that comes through exercise and that comes to self-development. So if you apply these four steps, I can 100% promise you that you are going to be heading towards a more time life, <laughs> let's say it this way, okay? Awesome. Let me know in the comment below if this has helped you and please, you know, do the work. Did you like this video? Then make sure to subscribe and also hit the like button, comment, let me know what exactly did you like about it. So October is my birth month, which means it's the best month of the year because I'm, you know, I love my birthday and I love birthdays. So this month I decided to 
give you something. So next week, meaning 8th of October, which is my birthday, so it's really, really special. I'm opening a, for a few days only the chance for you to come to my success challenge. So it's going to be a three day success challenge. You're going to find the roadmap to your success in these three days. It's completely free. It only happens now. So you're not going to be able to sign up for it this year. So this is huge. It's for my birthday because I want to give something to all of you who are watching and who are supporting me and are reading my emails. So I'm very grateful for that. And this is why I planned this challenge. So in three days, you're going to find your success score. You're going to find your profile, like your emotional profile about your success score, which is uniquely done for you. And then the third day, you're going to have a plan on how to step into your success. So again, it's very customized. It only happens now. Make sure you, you know, write down the dates because next week I will open enrollment. There are only a couple of hundred space, you know, spots available. I'm hoping this time 500 women to join me. So please be one of them because it will be worth it. And if you're telling me you don't have time, well, make sure you do these exercises because you will definitely have time. It only takes 20 minutes per day. So I think it's worth it to really work on your success for 20 minutes a day, three days only. So I cannot wait to see you. It's going to be, you know, private talk to me and we're going to have so much fun. And it's my birthday gift to you, you know, because it's my birthday month. I can't wait to see you there. Thank you and have an amazing day.